what's going on guys so uh i'm here to uh review the pulse bf uh squonk mod it's by uh bandy bait um i got the kit it came with the pulse 24 um rd a r s a um and i got the pink version um Right now I'm running in here, it's uh, well I'm using the 2700 battery, um, and I got a pre-built coil by one of the YouTubers I watch, um, and it's only at a point one one. So I've been using this mod to start, this mod in the RDA for the past about week now, um, and you know I'm kind of liking it. It's a nice little first mod for somebody to have um, from the first half as a first clunking mod, as a first clunking RDA. Um, the RDA is a postless style RDA. So you have your positive connection, your negative connection. <clears throat> um, the problems I've kind of found with that RDA is that. Um, the the post holes are a little bit too shallow um so i'll be sitting there i'll clip my wires um and i'll either clip them too long and then i'll have to remeasure them or i'll clip them too short and have to redo the coil excuse me um but overall it's a really it's a pretty decent rda um airflow is direct airflow so it goes into the side into the holes here Okay, and it hits your coils, which are, if you guys can see that, you know what? There we go. So you guys can see the coils in there. I know it's not the best quality. I'm shooting this on my phone. Um, the airflow goes directly onto those coils. <clears throat> um... Got uh, two different styles of, uh, or two airflow holes, which give a pretty decent uh, type of airflow. What you do on one side, you, it happens on the other. So when I close part of it off on one side, it closes off on the other. Um, so, like I said, it's a pretty decent RDA, pretty decent mod. Um, Kind of compact, which I like. <coughs> I, I I work on an ambulance all day long, so for me to be able to just take this, throw it in my pocket, run out the ambulance, and come back, and not really have to worry about leaking or it firing or oh, and in here when you take off the the door, there is see this little white piece here. That's the lock. So you flip it up, and it's safe. You can't when you press the button. Nothing happens. Flip it down. And. Um, my battery, I've been pretty much using this all day. My 2700 battery is uh, almost pretty much dead. But, um, yeah, this is a pretty nice little decent RD, little decent mod, little decent RDA. The RDA, the top cap, has, I don't know if you'll be able to see it too well. If you look, that'll work. So, big juice on my fingers. <laughs> so, if you look, kind of like read. In here, I know it's really hard to see, but you can see like two little like notches, kind of. Those notches correspond with the two cutouts on the base of the deck or the part of the deck on the RDA. So it when you're when you're turning the airflow, the whole top cap doesn't turn it just it sits in there nice and pretty so that when you turn the top cap to adjust the airflow 
only the top cap turns. So it's pretty nice. Um, this is my first R, um, Squonk RDA Squonk mod. Um, uh, you know, I like it. You got an eight little eight milligram bottle of juice in there, um, and pretty easy to load into the uh, once you refill the juice. It's pretty easy to bring it back into the to put it back into the RDA to or the the mod to vape it. Um, kind of interesting design with the way that the hole is cut out with the finger placement and everything like that. So what I tend to do is, if I'm holding it in my right hand, it's a little bit more comfortable. So I'm holding it in my right hand, I can squonk, hit the bottle with either these two fingers, or I can hit it with my thumb. If I'm holding it in my left hand, I tend to use my thumb a little bit. So I have to like turn my hand a little bit to hit the to hit the bottle. Um, but it works. It's okay. Um, I got the pink version. Uh, I was looking online couple days ago about um, if I can get different types of doors you can't you can go online you can get different colored doors different types different styles and shades and things like that um, there's a couple other accessories you can get different colored bottles and you can also get a bottle that what you do is you take the RDA off you don't screw it screw this other bottle it's about a you can get a 30 milliliter or a 50 milliliter bottle screw it into here it has a 510 comp connection pin that you can refill the squonk bottle with that i don't know how good it is i haven't bought it to try it out yet i'm thinking about buying it i'm not sure if i do i'll let you know um so enough talking about it um i'm gonna vape on it now mind you my battery's a little bit dead once you have a, a fuller battery in here um it'll vape better i do notice even though this is a technically a mechanical mod um the uh the performance of it is a little bit muted um and the flavor on it is a little bit different it's the flavor depending on your build obviously depending on your build it's going to be muted or or highlighted on this i've had different builds in here ranging from a 0 0.08 all the way up to a 0.23 and the flavor is kind of in between this um and I'll, I'll use the same juice on another mod or another RDA or I'll just unscrew this. I don't know if it's just the, the mod or if it's the RDA. Um, but I do get kind of a, a little bit less of a juice flavoring on it. But the performance of it isn't bad. It's really it's really not that bad of an RDA. Um, really not that bad of a mod. I don't really have any leaking issues with it. Um, and I've had it thrown around an ambulance. I've had it thrown in my pocket. I've had it going up and down flights of stairs. I've had it, you know, excuse me, doing all sorts of stuff like that. So let's take a hit. See, so it's not that bad of a vape. Um, not that bad of clouds. Um, the juice I actually have in here, I just got it today. <clears throat> which is, it's kind of a, uh, let's see if I can get it right. Papaya, fruity, kind of pastry. It's interesting. I don't really know how I feel about it yet, but it's, it's, uh, Timbo by Voop. By, by Voop Juice. Um. I only got it in like a little uh, like 30 ml bottle, but it's not bad. It's it's kind of interesting. I have to see how it tastes on other uh, mods, other RDAs. Um, but yeah, so aside from that, um, when you get the box, this is what the packaging looks like. It says Vandy Vape, uh, full steam ahead. Nice little pretty picture of the back. You know, it gives you all the specs. There's my uh, vanilla flavor, vanilla blueberry scratch and sniff um, flavor. Um, <clears throat> when you open it up, now the reason why I haven't, I didn't put it back in the box is obviously because I'm using it, and just because I just didn't feel like putting it back in the box. Um, 
you know, so it comes with everything inside here. You know, obviously you can see your spare drip tip is up here, your your extra um, battery sleeve to make it convert it from an 18650 or a 20, 2700 to an 18650 is in here. Um, obviously your mod panel, RDA, um, then you open it up and you get your nice little uh, little baggie of O-rings goodies. Now, the RDA, when I got it, it had in pre-installed already um, the <coughs> um, the Phillips head screws into the RDA. Now, I'm thinking about taking those out and putting in the, uh, the little grub screws, which you can see are right there. Um, then, you know, you have in here as well the extra um, to convert it from a squonk mod into a regular RDA dripper. And you have that little, little 510 gold plated pin. Everything in here is gold plated. Um, you know, it's pretty good. You have your O-rings. You have your 510 connection, your, your uh, 510 drip tip connector. So you can use your own 510 drip tips if you want to. It does come with a with a Ultim and a um, what's the other one? Uh, the other drip tip. I, I my brain is I've been up too long right now. Um, I'm doing a raw vlog only because I don't have I only have my phone out on my laptop. I don't have anything else to edit with. But I really wanted to get this up because I don't know when I'm going to be able to be free yet in the rest of the week to be able to do it. So you have your Ultim and your Delaware drip tip. And by the way, what I find interesting about this entire mod is um, aside from the button and the interior workings, there's no metal on the actual mod. Um, except for, obviously, the screw top to your squonk, bot, squonk bottle, the metal up here that's your pin and all your connectors and all that stuff. And that's it. The rest is, I believe, Delrin. Oh, no. Sorry. The rest is either Delrin or Ultim. I believe it's Ultim. Um, and, which is actually not bad. I kind of like the way it feels. Um, kind of interesting feel to it. Uh, when it, it doesn't really heat up as much either. So, if you're, you're kind of sitting there. I know you, you normally shouldn't chain vape. Excuse me, I went sneezing a little bit. You normally shouldn't chain vape all the time unless you have a higher uh, ohm build. This one is only out at a 0.11. Normally I build at a, at a 0 0.10 and lower, but I use a lot of mech mods. Um, this you can basically, you should you should build down to a 0 0.10. Um, that's what I've been reading as a safe resistance level for. If I'm wrong, just let me know in the comments. I got mine in store for about $60, $70. Um, that's not including the battery, of course. Um, but, which is not bad for a Squonk mod. Especially a nice little one like this. Um, you know, so... You know, it's easy to pick one up. Uh, easy to use. Like I said, the only thing I really don't like about it is the um, the postless deck, but I guess that's just a learning curve for me. I have to get used to it. Um, kind of really lightweight. Doesn't The battery uh, doesn't add much when you use it. I've noticed a, a difference when you use the 2700 batteries versus the 18650 batteries, but that's to be expected. Um, oh, and when you're using this too... So I'm going to pop on my battery to show you this, see if you can see inside of it. The positive goes down and the negative goes up. I found that one out kind of the hard way. Almost, almost the hard way. I put it in the wrong way. Luckily I had the safety on, but I put it in with the negative down and the positive up, positive up which is what you would normally do. Um, and yeah, it, it yeah. Um, I looked at it and I was like, wait a minute, let me, <laughs> let me, uh, you know, fix that. Um, 
overall, this mod really hasn't been bad. Overall, it's it's like I said, it's kind of a good mod for like having as a first. The other only thing I'm really not too excited about is is this little guy right here. Um, it's great. It's made up of. I, believe it's made up of silicone yep that's what I thought it's made up of silicone but my problem is it's too like squishy um it needs to be a little bit I guess like a little bit harder only because when you're putting it in here oh and there needs to be like a stopper for this because the little hose I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this but the little hose will sometimes slide in and out and up and down. So, see how high it is? It shouldn't be that high. It should be down just a little bit lower. Um, but right now... Ah, there we go. should be down just a little bit lower. But my, well, my problem was, and I, and I just found this one out recently too, was um, I was just refilling it a couple... About an hour ago, and... I went to go put the the cap back on and even with like the slightest little um push that that bottle it just sends the juice straight up. And I wasn't paying attention and I got juice all over my hands, all over my pants. It just wasn't happy. Um so I, I kinda had to just set it aside a minute and let everything dry off and, and, and uh, you know, kind of let everything cool down a little bit because that just kind of made me a little bit upset that that happened. Um, but here's, you know, a little kind of interior of what everything looks like. Now, um, I did get another little baggie of goodies in here. Um, I'm not quite sure what it's for. I tried looking it up. I didn't really see much about it. Um, it might. It looks like it might be some magnets, probably for the door or something. Um, looks like there's another screw for the uh, for that piece for the safety there. But uh, it's just a couple components, um, like another. There's a little. Come on, focus. There we go. A little bit better. It's just like a couple little, like these are little kind of magnets. There's a spring and another screw. I believe that that is for um, the batter, the the button that might have this. That's why you have the spring. I think you can interchange the button. I'm not sure. I tried looking it up and I didn't see anything about it. Um, if you guys know what it is, just please let me know, because I'd really like to know. I'm kind of curious. Um, but other than that, um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to try and get a different bottle. I'm not happy with this bottle at all. Um, it's great when you're squonky. It's just refilling it. It's a pain in the butt, because you get juice everywhere. Like, everywhere. Um, and then... Trying to get it in there, it's like you have to kind of play the game of, of you know, who, how you, how fast can you put it in before you get juice all over the place. But it is a nice little mod. Um, I have nothing against, you know, if I just want to sit there and just use it as a, like a, as a regular mod, put a, you know, non-squonkable RDA on there, um, or just change this into a, a, a regular RDA. I do, I, I think I can do that. I think I can, you know, successfully do that. I did put my Dead Rabbit um, RDA on here for a little bit, and I did put that in, in the, the squawk pin in the bottom of it. And it worked actually pretty nicely. It, it, it you know, I didn't really have any other problems with it. Um, so, you know, you can use other squonkable, mod, squonkable RDAs with this mod. Um, sorry about my hands being in the way, like I said. I'm, Kind of just filming with my phone, um, so, but, you know, you, like, I just got that in there pretty nicely, but that was because I, I'm kind of used to doing it. Once you get used to doing it, I think you can, it's a little bit easier, but I just, I don't know, I kind of didn't like that at first. 
Um, so yeah, this is the uh, post twenty post BF twenty four Squonk mod by Vandy Beep. It's nice. Um, you know, uh, I mean, like I said, I mean, I have been using it all week. I really actually have been. Um, and yeah, so that's my review on it. Go out if you guys want to buy one, go ahead. If you guys just want the RDA, I'm pretty sure you can find that somewhere. Um, and you know, the price point's not too bad on it about 60 to 70 dollars, depending on where you go. So that's it. So I got oh, you do actually. The one thing I did forget, you do get another drip tip in here, you get the little down ring. Uh, Trip tip. So yeah, um, that's it. That's my review. Uh, go check it out. Highly recommended for uh, new Squonk mods, new Squonk users. And uh, that's it. So have a good day, everybody. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your night. Stay safe and have fun vaping. There, guys.